Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince. When are you for Let's Play episode as Brandenburg? So, let's keep this rolling, shall we? Okay, truce with Poland ended and we still cannot ally with them now. Denmark. Denmark is really close, actually, but we're hitting... We actually hit our max. Which is fine, you know? Like, as long as we get rid of that royal marriage with them, that's more than fine, isn't it? Right, so we don't need to keep improving relations with them that much longer but we can improve relations with Denmark so then we can real marry them and ally them as necessary now of course we do enjoy building up our land and our treasurer has died which is absolutely horrible as you may know but we have plenty of inflation so we need this guy to help us with our inflation now this better relations over time guy is kind of annoying but hey what can we do we kind of need the power and, of course, we're going to have to get the trade efficiency and other stuff and lots more stuff besides that. So, yeah, okay. We need a royal marriage with Brunswick. Now, the next thing we're going to need is to improve relations with them. Because that allows us to annex them quicker. And we really should be annexing these guys as quickly as we can so we can be as strong as can okay so we'd get too many guys okay the Pope will not like us and the clergy will lose some loyalty but that's just the way it is I guess okay so we can do this that's great Let's boost seek support of the clergy why not emissary to the Pope okay they'd gain too much influence now the nobility okay never mind never mind that Okay, so what are we going to do now? Ooh, England is destroying Burgundy and France is not actually doing anything here. What? Navarra was taken by England? Okay, France. I thought you'd do better than that. And why is Charolais Savoyard territory? Savoyard? Savoyard? I'm not sure how to call it. Hmm, now, again, this is going to be a problem here, of course. Okay, we have really just barely any guys coming in. Okay, just... We're going to want to reinforce a few more of those troops. All right, so the Pope, yeah. Still can invest in a new idea. The regimental system, which is nice, but we do want the next tech much, much, much quicker, right? Hmm. Of course, policy change is in order. Now we really need this tech because it's important to have. Diplomatic ideas for Saxony. Good luck with that need this deck and it's gonna happen next year okay so Brunswick improved relations with them as much as we could I would want to annex them but not yet I'll annex them once we give them back their course so there's that now again I'm gonna continue building a spy network here I'm gonna send this guy back I'm gonna build another spy network here and I'm gonna stop building that spy network there soon as we have this technology, which is very, very important. Of course, if we look at the institutions though, and we take a look at the colonialism, 1500s, it's gonna start. So we got 25 more years without any tech penalties, which is obviously very good. And I like that a lot. Okay, go home and to war, definitely. Hmm. Still spending some money for fleet maintenance, but it doesn't matter. Rooting out corruption still, but there's no corruption to root out really at this point. Alright, so very, very soon we'll have this. Now other guys here. Mm, I wish I had another morale guy, but hey, we have plenty of morale. Family ties. Okay. Getting some nice Diplo power. Very nice to see. Now oh, I really need this deck. We lost Neumark as a claim. Uh, whatever. It's not the worst that could happen now of course hmm okay new tech so we finally got this we can also build barracks now and we got really nice bonuses on our guys so we have the advantage now so we can definitely push this advantage now with these guys we only have three favors with Austria. We have six favors, but we're not gaining them that quickly. So again, if I were to do this, I'm gonna do it so I can my friendlies will attach to me. Okay, and if I declare war, Hesse and Saxony will be a problem. They will play for the treachery. No, 
That's fine, really. Okay, so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna declare war in Magdeburg. Oh, what? The Emperor has recently gone to war. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, Emperor? What are you doing, Emperor? Okay, so I guess I have to lower the army maintenance just a tad. Meanwhile, have we built any churches and stuff? Because those are really important to actually build. We have built it here and it's going to give us really nice income boosts as well in the other territories. If we had the money, it would give us anyway, but we don't. So there's that. All right. Looks like the Teutons hmm, are fighting a massive war here. <laughs> That's quite funny. Bohemia is involved in this war as well. Yeah, they're in a war together because well, they're not actually allied with them. Huh, okay. So I, I'm, I'm going to try and send this guy back and see who would join. Because if we go against these guys alone... Well, no, because I still need to go for Magdeburg, right? And then that's going to be Saxony and Hesse. Which we can actually declare war on very, very soon. Okay, Adolf von Still is really good. 241 can ask for much better than that during this period. So we're going to go for it. Very, very soonish. All right. And I really want to return the core over there to Brunswick. Now, please, next month or in two months, actually, we'll be able to do just fine. 3.6 morale is all right, but could really be better. The prestige is meh. All right. So, there we are. Magdeburg, you're dead. Now, Saxony has some pretty big alliances, so I do not want to get these guys involved. I just want to make it easy, you know? Hmm. So there we go. Gonna declare war on Magdeburg. Really? No, it's mine. So there we go. I cannot ask any of these to come, you know? It happens, but we'll just declare war on our own. I'm gonna speed it down to three, and in the meantime, well, I'm just going to smash these guys. Because that is what we do. And I'm going to find the Saxon army. Okay, there is the Saxon army. We'll find it and we'll kill it. So that is how we roll. Minus two is pretty bad, but we have more troops and we're still being super efficient here, which is great. Okay, so where did I actually go to? Because we need to find them and, you know, just... Do the good old stack wipe. We need to kill their stacks before anything else. What? Okay, so they're right over there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna catch them and hopefully stack wipe them. That's the plan. Oh, we even have the defense bonus. Oh, very nice. Now we're gonna get to Magdeburg and... They're gonna be so dead. Alright, so we're at war with... Also Anhalt? Really? <laughs> Oh yeah, Anhalt would be a target as well, but we don't care, so. <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is, of course, we're gonna ask for this, which is some aggressive expansion, and then what we're gonna do is, well, we gotta get Hanover back to Brunswick, so that has to be sieged, of course. Okay, only, don't need so many guys to siege that, so it's fine, but we're gonna have to get Hanover back here, so... Hmm. Of course, I'm gonna leave a stack here to siege just enough. And here, if I go for Hesse, do they have a stack here? Huh, really? Palatinate's got some guys. No, Aus Palatinate gave them. Okay. That's fine, I suppose. So here we are. I suppose Saxony is starting to make an army here, which is kind of expected, I suppose. Now, again, we gotta siege Magdeburg, and we gotta make sure that. These guys don't actually make a stack, so we're gonna find them there in Thuringen. And yes, we have the Malus, but they have no leaders, so they're just dead. Okay, so are they coming again here? Right, so goodbye, guys. <laughs> there they go, they're stack wipe. We haven't even used too much manpower, and again, it looks like we're gonna catch them. They're making troops all the time, which is obviously quite annoying, but does it matter? Nope. Because we're not really losing that many right now, so there's that. Okay, I don't want to attach to this one. I want people to attach to this one. That's what I need. So please go over there and attach. 
Please go over there and attach. Please go over there and attach. <laughs> How many times must I ask you to do that? But I guess, okay, let's make a, a medieval infantry unit. Um, okay. I don't like how this is going. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to leave some guys there, you know, even though it's not enough to siege. I, I need to see how many guys they have there. Okay, they don't they only have like 3k, so. But we're losing men here, though we're gonna get another medieval infantry unit very soon there. So that's fine, I suppose. And we have another tech possibility. Very good. Very good. I like more tech. Except the petition. Yes, we gain more base stacks in Uckermark. That's very good. Where's that even? There it is. Okay, so it comes under control of the clergy. Which, of course, gives uh, extra goods, extra trade power and stuff. So that's really nice. Boosts. Okay, and we got the extra guy there. The extra medieval infantry, which we needed, of course. And that gives us 13 guys. Okay, that's... A few too many, perhaps, but doesn't matter. We're gonna get the siege done, and it looks like they're still preparing. Okay, they got 4,000 men. We have 7,000, so they still have no chance to do anything. So there's that. And why do they not attach to this unit? I have no idea. Please go supportive. Yes. There we go. Making them supportive is gonna help our situation this is what i want i want you guys to come here and looks like does he have a better siege i don't th i don't see any siege pip sadly so this guy doesn't have a siege pip either so that's unfortunate but hey we should have this war it wasn't too difficult i thought it would be a bit more difficult but hey i guess i was wrong now i do have hanover which is a big deal we want to transfer it to, to, to Brunswick. Now, if we take it for Brunswick, it's much less aggressive expansion, of course, which is great. Because this is their core. And we have just sieged Magdeburg. And because of that, we can now also come in and destroy the Saxon army here. We 10k against 6k, even against... Even over the river, there's no problem whatsoever. Especially because we're ahead in tech, which gives us a nice little boost. Granted, I do hate my monarch, so people are gonna come back because they have better monarchs. Actually, not in Miltech, at least, but the other techs, yeah, Saint Proclade. Oh, nice, we got extra stability. Honestly, we should have used that to boost our stability up, and th so then we could boost, boost it up again, you know, but hey, it's uh, a bit too much, I suppose. Anyway, I guess the idea is to vassalize Hesse so that then we can annex Brunswick and keep Hesse, right? That would be a good idea. So Brandenburg, Hesse will become a vassal. Mm, lots of people will hate me for this. So if I don't take Magdeburg, still lots of people will hate me for this. So mm, this is going to make it really close. But that's still too much. You know, that still gives us too much aggressive expansion. So I'd rather just vassalize these guys or I could take the lands with no vassalization, but still. I feel like I should take the vassalization because taking, if you look at these guys, it's like 17 development and this is 12 development. So, hmm. I mean, we can always take Magdeburg again, you know, but these lands, yeah. So we're gonna make our vassal slightly stronger and we're gonna get another vassal, which is always good, of course. Nothing bad about that. Okay, so we're gonna go for Saxon, yeah. So, I mean, I, I like this, because Brunswick is going to like us, and then we can annex them. And that's going to help our situation quite a bit, I would imagine. So, we're going to get the siege here. Not like it's a big thing to get that siege, but why not? I'm going to go destroy them again. Oh, wow, really? This, this now costs more? How is that even possible? Unreasonable demands, really. Now, what if we do it? separately like this okay okay so here was is what we're gonna do it's gonna be a separate one no hesse you're not gonna get that you're funny hesse come on we got a separate piece with them so 11.6 would be the case if we do it 
uh, yeah, it's basically the same, I suppose. So if we ask for this, if we ask for money, it's 16.3. So we're not going to do it. So I'll chase them here. Really? That's where they want? Hm. That's a bit funny. Okay, so we took that land and now we're, we're going to take it again. And yeah, 3k is very easy to destroy. There we go. It just They just got stack wiped. They had no chance. Okay, so they spawned some troops here. Good for them, I suppose. Now we're going to send another stack because we need to siege Wittenberg. And we need to siege Anhalt as well, though. So... Hm. We're gonna keep a small stack there and we're gonna continue dealing with the other stack. Okay, an heir to the throne, not the best heir, but hey, okay. Go back to Unhold. So we siege all of this again. Keeps making troops. No, 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 no. Go to Wittenberg so they can't make more troops. We gotta siege this. Alright. Yeah, goodbye. There they go. I'm gonna keep the stack here so they can't make more units. And now Hesse. They have plenty of units. They have 10k, so we gotta deal with those. So they're still not gonna accept this offer, which is sad, of course, but what can one really do then? Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna get enough people on that siege. This war should really end soon because it's taking a massive amount of time. Now Hesse. Still no vassalization possible, so great. Now though, yeah, that requires a lot of war score, so we're not gonna go for it. Yeah, we need this sieged, so then we can siege the other thing. But yeah, we could take Magdeburg, but it's too much, and Hesse is slightly more development. But Magdeburg would help us personally. So um, it really is a question of like what's going to be good. Because we need another idea as well. And because of that idea, well, focusing on military is always good. But still, we're going to need economy to boost ourselves up, you know. So yeah, I think taking, just taking Hesse would be a better idea. Go expand diplomatically and it's not like, hmm, yeah, they're going to be strong allies. Because they have 7k, so that's... Quite the amount of troops that they can provide us with. So right now, they're still not going to take that. So that's a bit sad, really. Hmm. Hessian military strength. Okay, I guess it's because we haven't finished them. Yeah, that's the problem. We need to destroy their army and then they're going to be really sour. And so they're going to die. Yeah, I think that's the idea. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get there. Enjoy getting stack wiped. That's it. There they go. <laughs> and instantly they ask for a peace deal. Give up claims in Cologne. What claims in Cologne do they have? Oh, that's just... doesn't matter. I'm gonna give up their claims anyway, because that's gonna give us slightly more prestige. Okay, so now we're gonna make them a vassal, and we took all their money, and now the next thing we need to do is, well... Take this back and make these guys like us. 22nd of July. Alright, so now we can make peace deal here. People will, however, hate us massively. So there's that. Now, if we look at the aggressive expansion, the coalition map mode, plenty of people hate us, right? So we gotta go the safe route. If we take Magdeburg, it's pretty safe. If we take Hanover as well, it's not safe. So yeah, I am. I do not want to have anything to do with that. Anyway, right now we have basically finished the war. So what we can do is we can separate peace out Saxony, ask them for all their money, which is apparently not a lot. And then we can cancel subjects and halt and we can get them to give us that land. Hanover to what to Brandenburg? No, to Brunswick. Yes. So it's just. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Okay, separate piece out. Saxony. Ask for some land from them and stuff, like whatever. Thuringen. Still too much. So, no. Humiliate. All right. Yeah, that's true. I would want to humiliate them for uh, stuff. Yeah. 
All right, so that's important. Then take Hanover as well. Okay. Now, if we go for war reparations, okay, that's too much. So Hanover and that's about it. Yeah, yeah. And a humiliation, although, yeah, a humiliation is nice. Give us that power projection. Very nice. Very good. We have humiliated them. So now we just have Magdeburg left, which would give us too much. Now, if we look at this, yeah, we can actually wait a tad and then just the next them later, you know. Keep Magdeburg occupied for the time being. So yeah, now I'm gonna make these guys love us. And then these guys love us, but oh, they're at war, so hmm. Gonna finish this war quickly, as quickly as we can. And yeah, we okay, we lost that claim? Whatever. So we want them to pay us as much money as they can, and in the meantime, the next thing we want to do is Boost up tax taxation or workshop. Workshop in Berlin is so important, apparently. It gives us so much more extra money. Probably because, yeah, it's got huge production going for it. So there's that. Now, we wield only 9% of the trade power, which is a problem. Now, Poland. We're not gaining much diplo power. But finally, because of the power projection. This is uh, really, really, really important stuff. So we need to continue boosting it. And our armies are fairly strong, I should say. I would need another Latin medieval infantry unit. But apart from that, we have a quite the, the strong army. And now we have like a stronger uh, person here as well. We're going to improve relations. They're actually loyal to us, which is great. And of course, we're going to continue doing the supportive action here because that's a pretty good one. And I do like it when, you know... I'm gonna, I build the spy network in two tons, so I'll continue doing that. Of course, once Hesse likes us, well, we don't really necessarily want them to like us right now, we just want them to not hate us. That's uh, basically how I want things to be. Anyway, that's enough for now, so thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, and subscribe, follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.